Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kehila or K, and today it's going to be all about this new project that I'm working on, but also we're going to start it off with me editing this video that I'm posting today because why not? So I will get into the yarn that I'm using and the project that I'm working on in just a second. I am filming right now so that I remember to film this part and not just the time lapses <laughs> of the project. So yeah, just coming on just to have the intro real quick. I need to edit this video and post it today. It is... <sighs> This video right here, it's a vlog about me finishing the beanie that you guys would have seen if you, I mean, you guys would have seen it because this video is going to be out before uh, my laptop almost fell. This video. So never mind. You guys would, you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm going to finish this and then I will get to talking about the yarn and all of that. All right, let's go. Alright guys, so I finished editing my videos. By the way, if you hear like they're in the background, it's just a fan that's on because the high today is 101 degrees in SoCal. So yeah, and I'm wearing a beanie and sweatshirt and whatever. You know, I'm in a house. It's nice and cool in the house. And I'm not leaving the house, so I'm dressing according to inside the house. You know, when I go outside for a little bit, I'll feel a little bit of the heat and then come back inside. Anyway, so that's a fan. I finished editing the video. I made my thumbnail and I'm making my little video intro right now. The video is exporting. And then after I put that with the clips, all I need to do is watch the video over and then export it and upload it. But anyway, while that's happening. I'm like, I might as well just start talking about the yarn and a project so I can continue knitting and film myself knitting because I already started a project. If you guys don't realize or notice, I like to start my projects before I start filming just so I have something to show you guys and you can see the yarn worked up. I just, I just love that. But anyway, I am working on the Anchor Tea by Petite Knit. So this is what it's going to look like when it is finished. Here is a flat lay. I have not ever knitted a tee before, so this is so exciting. I wanted to knit something that was a little bigger than a sock and a hat but not as big as a sweater because it's still summer even though i do plan to start on a sweater next month but it's going to be for september <laughs> so yeah i'm going to be working on a big project soon which is why before i start working on that big project i'm like i want to work on a big project but not a huge project so i was just like let me make a tea. I've never made a tea, never knitted a tea before, and I've made the anchor sweater already. I don't know if you guys saw that before, but I will put a picture up for you guys so you can see it. I made it with this alpaca and nylon yarn, and it was so good. The sweater is so soft, and actually, I need to, I need to wear it. The sweater was so easy to make, and she has a pattern for the anchor tea, and I was just like, it's the same construction, basically, just not a sweater. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so easy, so mindless. And of course, I was correct because I did the anchor sweater before. And it's just been so mindless and so great. And it's a nice way to ease myself back into bigger projects and projects that take a little longer than a beanie and a sock, you know. So, yeah. And... Okay, wait, I was about to say something about the yarn, but let me show you guys the yarn first that I'm using and then I'll go into what I was about to say. So, 
I am knitting with Handbag Yarn for the first time for an actual garment, like an actual top, okay? So what I was about to say, I have only knitted with hand dyed yarn with socks and beanies. I have not knitted a hand dyed yarn sweater or top before. So this is the first one and it's so exciting. Oh, so great. And yeah, so I am using this yarn right here from Sorella. Look at this beauty. I, was this, I don't remember what, she, she has so many collections, I don't remember what collection it came from, but I got this color. It is Tchaikovsky. This is it right here. And it is 100% superwash merino wool, 438 yards, 100 grams, fingering weight, of course, fingering weight, and the mohair to pair with it. This is also Tchaikovsky, so I wanted the same colorway, so I didn't have to think about like, oh, what mohair would go with this? Why not just get the mohair that's in the same colorway, which is great. And so this is mohair, 7228, mohair silk, 459 yards, 50 grams, lace weight, of course, because it's mohair. I got, I think, four skeins of each, four hanks. And yeah, so this is so exciting. I'm like, this is perfect. I feel like it's perfect, a perfect colorway for summer. And ugh, let me show you the cakes. I mean, I've used a lot of it, but this is what it looks like. Like, I love this colorway because it's like, it's like bright colors, but like a muted bright, you know? I don't know if I described that well at all, but that's how I look at it. Anyway, let me show you guys. Oh, let me show you guys my project. I keep looking at notifications I'm getting on people posting videos. I'm like, oh, today's gonna be a great day. Alrighty, let's see the project. Dun dun dun. dun. Here it is. This is my anchor top, my anchor tee. Sorry, it is a top, but it's the anchor tee. And oh my gosh, I literally started this two days ago, I believe. And this is my progress. I've been monogamously knitting on this project and I want to finish it or at least basically have most of it done before I start on my sweater project which I'll talk about probably in a vlog and it will definitely definitely have its own video but it'll probably be in another vlog maybe one of the vlogs in July or something which is yeah yeah, yeah. anyway so this is what it looks like oh my gosh the yarn worked up so this makes this I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I am getting close to being done with the yoke. Okay. I'm not almost done, but I'm getting close. I have like one more. So you can see these are like ribbed little like segments, <laughs> I guess. And I have one more rib section to do. And then it'll be like this. And then I'll start on the raglan increases and splitting for the sleeves. And then I'm so excited to get to the stockinette body so I could just uh, truly mindlessly knit okay but yeah I am using three millimeter needles that's what the pattern calls for it also calls for like a, a cotton yarn but I'm using I am using merino and mohair I wanted I didn't want a summer tea even though this is like basically patterns like for a summer type of tea but I wanted merino so that I can wear this when it's a little chilly and still be warm, especially with the mohair in it, but also not have to wear like long sleeve or something, you know, just a, a nice fall tee is what I would call it actually. So I am working on three millimeter needles. This is on a 32 inch cable. This is actually fixed circular needles, chow goo. And... 
yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for <laughs> what I need to tell you guys about this project. I, it would be great if I could finish this in the middle of July. It is currently, I'm filming on my phone. <laughs> what is today? Today is Monday the 27th. Okay, it is Monday the 27th. I would love to finish this by like the middle of July. If I finish it before that, that would be awesome as well. But middle of July, don't know a date. I don't have a date yet. I will probably give myself a date when I reach the body of this top. But yeah, okay, now that's it. And now let's knit. I'm not done with the yoke yet I am getting there okay but I am done with the ribbing part of the yoke so now it is time to start on this stockinette part so this is what it looks like it's just all the ribbing part and oh my god my stitches are like scrunched on these 32 inch needles and I'm gonna scrunch even more and squeeze more stitches <laughs> on this needle until I split for the sleeves so I'm not going to move it to 40 inch cables because when I split for sleeves, then I will have enough room for the rest of the stitches. So I'm just going to keep squeezing them on there because it's not a problem for me. I don't mind. But this is what it looks like so far. Ah, this is so awesome. I love the way it's working up. I'm so excited to finally, oh my gosh, you know, ribbing is fine, but I love a mindless stockinette, okay? Like if I can... I will never get tired of a stockinette project. I know a lot of people are like, I can't do that. I need some lace. I need some cables. If I only knit stockinette bodied, even yoke, stockinette yoke, stockinette body sweaters and tops and stuff for the rest of my knitting life, I will be content. I'll be happy. I'll be okay because I love stockinette. Okay. I love it. So... I finished all this ribbing and I'm excited to see what the stockinette looks like worked up in this yarn because I don't know about you guys but sometimes ribbing can look like stockinette and sometimes just sometimes I have a little trouble like when I see a picture I'm like is that ribbing or is that stockinette you know because some ribbing can be so tight that it just looks like it's stockinette you know but I don't know I don't know if I'm the only one but anyway it is now time to start the raglan like increases and stuff for the like sleeves basically and then yeah so I have my I have my stitch markers these little these cute little flowers and I'm going to start separating stitches for the raglan increases and then yeah do the raglan part and then finally I will split for sleeves so I will come back to you guys I will talk to you guys again when I split for the sleeves yes let's get it oh my gosh you guys hello okay it hasn't been that long since I filmed <laughs> Since I last spoke to you guys, remember, next time I said next time I'm going to talk to you guys when I split for sleeves. Oh, I split for sleeves, all right, okay, and knitted a lot of the body. Oh, new hairstyle, new earrings, my new, like, forever earrings. So, you know, the other earrings, I don't know if you could have seen it, you know, my hair was blocking it a lot, but I like to have an earring for my front hole and my second hole and just, like, leave it and don't 
I don't change my earrings. And so I'm like, you know what? It's time for an upgrade, time for new forever earrings. And I got these like old school earrings. Oh my gosh. They are so cute. Like, oh my gosh. So I have like the bigger hoop in the back. And then I have like a smaller, oh, sorry, a smaller like oval hoop in the front. So then it layers like this and oh, it's so good. I love it so much. If you guys want to know where I got it from, I'll link it down below for you guys. No, this is not sponsored. I just love it so much. I've just been looking at it. I got it in yesterday and I've just, oh, I just, I'm in love. Uh, anyway, let me show you guys. My ink of tea so far. Oh my gosh. Which way should I? Okay. Dun da da da! <laughs> told you guys I split for the sleeves. Why did I say split like that? I split for the sleeves and I knitted a lot of the body. So this is what it looks like so far. Oh, my belly button is right here. So. I like to put it all the way up to my neck just so I know I have enough <laughs> for my torso because my torso is long. So I want to reach my belly button, which is right here. And then I'll start on the ribbing because I don't want this top to be like too long. Let me get this. I don't want it to be too long on me. Like this is the type of top that I want just right, basically. So I want it to be like, like this okay my belly button is right here so I can stop right there just like oh my gosh okay perfect so this is ribbing on this hoodie and my belly button is right here so I'll stop right here and then I'll just have ribbing and then just be done and have it be like this it won't be this tight of course it'll be like loose but I want it to like stop a little bit after my belly button just around where my hips begin, basically. So yeah, oh, that was such a perfect example, okay? Anyway, so I'm getting there. I'm gonna knit a lot today. I have a bunch of other videos to film and things to film. I'm a little behind because I have to get my hair done. <laughs> so now that my hair is done, I can film a lot. Anyway, yeah, so just wanted to pop in and show you guys that and now I'm going to knit 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 and then I will knit until the ribbing of the body and then I'll come back to you guys and show you guys when I start the ribbing and stuff and just show you how long I knitted the body because in the meantime while I'm knitting I might change my mind and make it a little longer I might make it a little shorter I don't know it just depends on how I'm feeling in that moment you know so yeah very excited I cannot wait I just yarn yarn update this is just the second, the second cakes that I've used. I still have two more hanks of each. So yeah, I think I will just use two, two balls, two hanks, maybe two and a half. I don't know, but if I have yarn left over, I will move it to the sock section. Even if my fingering weight yarn doesn't have nylon in it, you know, for nice structure or like polyamide for nice structure so that, you know, the sock doesn't get holes. I don't care. I don't care if it doesn't have anything for structure. If I have yarn left over and it's enough for a sock, I will knit up a sock, okay? The sock will just have to have holes in it after a lot of wear because I just want to see the yarn knitted up. <laughs> in a small form if I have some left so yeah anyway okay enough talking I've done enough talking I showed you guys updated you guys and yeah let, let's get to it
Hello, guys. I am on the ribbing. You can't really see it. Why am I shaking like that? Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess you can see it a little bit, but I just started the ribbing for the body. And yeah, I don't want this top to be long at all. Like, if it can hover around my waist, that'll be great. Like, it's a t shirt. I have my sweaters for when I want like long bodies. But yeah, yeah. I think, I think this would be great. I think it would be a great length. So I'm doing a ribbing. Fingers crossed I can get a lot of it done today and then like finish the ribbing tomorrow. So then I can work on the sleeves and then I can meet my deadline of being finished by the 12th of July. We shall see. It's my own deadline to set for myself. Sometimes I need to set deadlines for myself so that I do not stay on a project for too long. Besides that one project that I have that I'm supposed to turn into a dress that I've had for like hmm, probably it's going to be almost a year now. But it's a project that is supposed to be just there, you know. Anyway, anything else? I think that's it. But I am on a body. I mean body. The body, ribbing, whatever. I'm excited for sleeves because the sleeves aren't going to take long at all because they're sleeves. I'm just excited to be done with this and I'm going to be blocking it. It'll be my first project, my first knit project that I ever block. And I'll show you guys me blocking it and putting it on the mat and making it look all nice like everyone else does when they block stuff. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, that is all. I'm currently watching Mike Smike. <laughs> That's his name. I almost forgot it for a second. And yeah, so I'm just going to do that. Watch his videos knit on the ribbing and then <laughs> the sleeves hello guys so i am still on a ribbing for my anchor tee but i had to pause last night because i needed to edit this video for today actually and now i'm about to finish editing it i'm going to upload it well, I finished editing it. I just need to rewatch it. Then I'm going to upload it. And while I rewatch it, I'm going to be working on my anchor tee. So I'll show you guys that. And then hopefully I can finish the ribbing today, the body ribbing, or at least get to where I'm going to do the Italian bind off because the Italian bind off takes forever. Oh my gosh. But that's okay because I like the Italian bind off. And yeah. So the goal today is to finish the ribbing, the body ribbing, and possibly get started on the sleeve. Oh, that'd be so great. But I will be working on other projects as well and filming another video at the same time. So we shall see the updates that I give you guys. I will definitely be showing you me working on a ribbing though. So let's watch this video, upload it, and work on the anchor tee. I finished binding off. Look at it, it looks so tiny, but it's okay, it's perfect. Like I said, I want it to be a little cropped, but like a little longer than cropped, and when I block it, it's gonna be nice. Okay, okay, 
anyway so here it is bind it off oh my gosh my Italian bind off is all right sorry you can't really see me it's okay I'm getting better but you know it's decent enough now it's time to start on the sleeves I'm so excited oh my gosh this is crazy okay Oh my gosh, I'm just super excited to block it. Like, I've, I haven't blocked anything before. I know I say that a lot, but like, it's just, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I am not going to start on the sleeves right now. I want to work on my beanie for a little bit, film for that for a little bit, and then tonight I'll come back and start working on the sleeves. Oh, but let's take a break. Oh my gosh. Hi guys so I literally just finished one of the sleeves and now I'm about to bind off I have my thing ready to bind off here's the sleeve it's done oh my god I'm so excited oh my gosh you guys understand I'm so ready to be done so that I can block it I'm just so excited for the blocking process and I was supposed to start my terrazzo sweater yesterday and I still did not start it even though I'm ready to start it, I just I just had to work on the sleeve. I just could not stop. So fingers crossed I can get the second sleeve done today or by tonight. And so then tomorrow I can block it and hopefully it won't take that long to dry. But I'm definitely going to be done by my deadline, which is the 12th. So oh, I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I'm like, Anyway, before I bind off, I'm going to eat because food is here. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break because I've been knitting since this morning, but I've been catching up on a ton of videos like Well Love Knits, Post a Video, Lisa, what's her name, Lisa Knits something. Lisa's, I forgot, sorry. She posted a video and then it's Erin B posted a video and a bunch of like other vloggers that I watch posted videos. So I've just been eating up the YouTube content today, okay? Malika posted a video, I watched her video. She came in and she's like, why are you watching my video? <laughs> and then, oh, Kara, I think that's how you say her name. Kara, like Kara's Knits, E-N-G. She has a YouTube channel now. She posts a lot on uh, Instagram, she has a YouTube channel. And so she posted, I watched her video. I'm like, let's go. The content today is out of this world. And I've just been looking up like knit vlogs and stuff so I can just see the new content that's out there or people who like I had no idea, you know, existed and stuff with like knit vlogs. So yeah, it's been great. It's been great. And today is Sunday, so I'm just relaxing. Oh, anyway. It's time to eat and then we will bind off the sleeve. Let's go. Look at it. 
look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, I need to learn how to properly bind off with, like, properly close out an Italian bind off. Because look at this. Look at this. Like, I don't know how to properly, like, I just, I just, uh, 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 just weave those stitches in together and try to close in. It doesn't bother me. I really don't care. But it would be nice to learn, you know. Same with the body. I, I just <laughs> try to close it. But anyway, let me sleeve down. Let's do the other one and then I'll be done. And I can block it. Okay. It is July 11th, a day before my deadline for myself, and I am done with the top. So it is so nice and crop. Oh my god. So I tried it on, and it hovers like in the middle of my torso, so like a little bit before my belly button, and oh, I'm obsessed. Okay. I have decided that I need more crop tops in my life and I have enough oversized everything and I just want to get more comfortable with wearing crop tops and stuff and I, it just looks so good on me so I'm just like you know what <sighs> let's make a crop top okay I have enough oversized everything I was gonna make this oversized at first but I'm like stop it it's okay you you get I'm gonna make enough sweaters to have oversized fits okay I can make a crop top so it is time to block it but first let me show you how much yarn I had left okay so in total I had four hanks of the fingering weight yarn and four hanks of the mohair and I only used two so I use one hank of each completely and these are the second hanks that I use that this is how much yarn is left okay it's a lot of yarn that's great and then I still have Two of these and two of these left so I have a lot of yarn left I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this but hey if it's enough to make like a slip over or something I could possibly do that but I'm just gonna put the yarn back on my shelf and figure that out later okay but anyway it is blocking time let's go I have this little Thing where I can put my yarn my yarn my project in to block it and I have this wool wash right here from Sorella it is called home and it has apple cider cinnamon and brown sugar so it smells amazing and yeah so this is gonna be my first time blocking a project I'm so excited let's go Oh, let's go. Hopefully it'll be dry by tomorrow because it's a small project, so. <laughs> All right. 
Mach's gut. Hello guys, so I was about to start editing this video and then I realized, wait a minute, my anchor tee is still blocking and I wanted this video to go up tomorrow, but instead of like trying to rush and edit tomorrow and post tomorrow, I'm just going to post the next day, which is Wednesday, so then I have time to take pictures and everything and then film a nice little outro for you guys. So yeah, I was going to stay up and edit and I decided not to, so. See you guys whenever this anchor tea is done blocking, drying, yay! All right, guys, we are about to take some pictures. I can finally post pictures in this top, so let's go. <laughs> Look, Lou. Hey. <laughs> all right we're looking for places because lighting's trash everywhere even though i did get some cute pictures but we're gonna go to a spot that is known for being cute for us yep. especially yep. around this time mm -hmm. right maliga yes <laughs> guys i'm about to eat and watch a movie and i just realized i literally did not formally end out this video so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think about my anchor tea let me know if you guys have worked on this project you know completed it you know or currently working on it who knows let me know if you actually haven't and you want to i want to know everything also let me know what you worked on while watching this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever i post another video and oh give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one